that tells us that our job, especially the homicide unit, is not done. The job is not done to find the killers in two separate Atlanta cold case murders. New tonight, we are learning that Atlanta police are now taking out search warrants to get phone records as they try to make an arrest in a Piedmont Park murder investigation. It was one year ago today that Katie Janice and her dog were stabbed to death in the park. And the crime has left a lot of you concerned about your safety in Atlanta's public parks. Joe Hinkey live at Piedmont Park right now where a vigil is expected to begin in just a few minutes. Joe. Well, Jennifer, as you said, vigil is a vigil is planned for Piedmont Park here tonight for Katie Janice as the community, her friends and family are remembering her today. But Atlanta police, they also want to make it clear they too have not forgotten her. The flowers and candles that once covered the entrance to Piedmont Park have gone out and died and are now cleared away. A year later, the only reminder at Piedmont Park of Katie Janice and her dog Bowie is a bench inside the park in their honor. We, we do not have a, a suspect identified. Uh, and so again, uh, everyone uh, right now, we're, we're looking at everyone. Atlanta police today describing how a year later they have not made an arrest in the case or learned what led to the brutal stabbing of Janice and her dog. Police, though, not calling this a cold case. They have been actively using search warrants since last year for areas around the park. And detectives are still waiting for DNA testing results and data from phone carriers. The department says takes time. These homicide lead detectives, uh, this is personal for them. Uh, to stand and call and receive calls from victims' family and they don't have closure, uh, it, it's, it is frustrating. Janice's partner and family today asking for privacy, but they did send 11 Alive a statement. Over the past year, there has not been a waking moment that Katie has not been in our hearts or on our minds since she was taken from us. Her senseless death has affected our daily lives in a manner that is hard to describe. Last year, we learned the night Janice was killed. Cameras inside Piedmont Park were not working, but the Parks and Rec Department tells me currently there are 30 cameras inside Piedmont Park that are working now at this time, and the city has plans to install even more cameras inside Piedmont and at other city parks. We'll send it back to you in studio. All right, Joe, thank you. Meanwhile, another case Atlanta police are hoping to get help solving is the murder of David Mack. He's the 12 year old boy shot and killed less than a mile away from his home last February. Police say they still don't have any suspects in this case, but they have made some progress in the past 17 months. They have re canvassed the area where Mack was found and questioned family and friends. They don't believe the 12 year old's death was gang related, but when asked about the surveillance video in a nearby park, Atlanta police tell us something similar to the Janice case that those cameras weren't working. From my understanding, the security cameras were not working. We're not working at the tennis court? Yes, but don't hold me to that. But right now, I'm pretty sure they weren't working. Do you know if they've since been repaired and are now working for that community? I don't know, to be honest with you. Now, if you have any information that may help solve this case, you're asked to please contact Atlanta Police or Crime Stoppers at 404-577-8477.